Hi friends, Miss Shelby here. Today I have a very special video to share with you. My friend teacher Beth and her daughter made a special craft. They made music shakers and it looked like so much fun. I wanted to share it with you all. So first, I'm gonna tell you what you're going to need. Here are the supplies. You're going to need a plastic egg. You're going to need some things to fill that egg. So you'll see teacher Beth uses buttons, beads, and bells. When I've made these before, I've also used little pieces of Legos. You could also find some small pebbles and use those. It's really fun to have a variety of things because as you'll see in the video, different items make different noises and it's really fun to experiment. All right, you're also going to need two plastic spoons. You're going to need scissors and tape. So once you have all those supplies ready, go ahead and start watching Teacher Beth and her video. Thanks, friends. Right. And so you put the stuff in the egg. Whatever ones you think will make an interesting noise. You can experiment first if you want. Yeah, they do. Which one's the biggest one? This yellow one. Which the smallest one? This blue one. All right. I don't know. How many are there? Three. Okay, so I gave you three different kinds of materials to put in there. Nice. Which one has the most? Which group has the most? The beads. The beads. So you can add some or all or whatever combination you want to add to make your shaker. Oh, I forgot to tell families they're going to need a pair of scissors. You'll need a pair of scissors. There's a pair right there. Okay, did you think you have your perfect combo net? Yet? Oh, we're trying everything. We're gonna, we're gonna see everything. I you, think I found it, but I don't know. Missed three. Four. Four. <laughs> I put it down my sleeve. Full. Most of them work got in my hand. I don't want some beads still. Okay, guess that works. Oh, I like that sound. You're not happy yet, huh? That one's better. 
Okay. All right, so when you're happy with how it sounds, you'll need the tape and, the pe and some scissors. No, nope, you'll need to ta tape the seam around it first, and then we'll add the... Uh, not yet. Not yet. First, we're going to use the tape for the project. She's not on the camera. Her noises, though. She's eating it. What did you eat? No. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have moved it this way. Okay, I got it. Okay, so then tape where the two halves of the egg come together. Tape it close. It's like Easter-y. Mm -hmm. Or it's an egg. Now you need the two spoons on either side, and you'll probably have to tape them in place. And you can put tape along the handle so it'll stay better too. She's licking it. You're putting one on first and then the other. No. Probably stays better that way. Yep. And then you can keep adding tape. It's decorative now, too, as well as holding it on. And you can tape the handle together, too, if you would like. Oh, you don't need scissors. It tears nicely. Okay. You know what you're doing. You just needed the scissors to open the package. Yeah, that was really hard. Do it all the way down. That's an option. Mm -hmm. You sing a song and shake to it. Very nice. Like a tambourine.